What's up guys, Matt here. And today, we're going out to Livermore, California. It's been a pretty warm day here in the Bay Area. So we're gonna do some night cruising out there. There's uh, some species of snake out there that uh, uh, you can only find in uh, this part of the Bay Area. So we're hoping for some glossies, some long nosed, and uh, hoping for a really good night. We've seen some workers there before, so let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so what I have right here is a temperature gun. So I can put the dot on any surface and it'll tell me the exact temperature. So I'm going to use this tonight uh, to basically kind of keep track of the road. And as the night gets on, the road will probably cool down a little bit, but uh, on very hot days like it was today, the concrete absorbs a lot of the heat from the sun all day and it's too hot for the snakes during the day when the roads can get the temperatures well over 100 degrees so let's check it right now as you can see it's about 87 88 degrees which is actually about perfect i would say 85 ish to 90 is probably about a perfect temperature range it doesn't have to be it's not restricted to those uh you know to those ranges but that's probably ideal so we're gonna hit the road and uh we're gonna see what we can find so we are first one of the night and as you can see it is a rattlesnake on the pacific and a big common mistake or something people don't know is that it's not scientifically proven but juveniles actually may be potentially more dangerous than adults because As you can see right here, it is about 9.30 and it's still 91 degrees. So I'm also just gonna check the road while we're at it. Hanging out the window. And the road is, let me focus that. Well, it's 93, it's hard to see. But uh, so yeah, that's a pretty good temperature. So it's starting to come alive. So uh, hopefully we can find some lifers. All right, guys, just came upon this nice, beautiful California king snake right here on the side of the road. Our first non rattlesnake of the night, and this one is a nice browning, yellowish banded. <clears throat> See if I can get a closer look. Ah, there we go. These are one of my favorite snakes out here in California. Pretty much found all over, all over the states. Scientific name for a king snake is Lampropeltis. And the other type of king snake is the mountain king snake, which uh, I have not yet found, which is an extremely rare snake. But uh, yeah, I mean, I love coming across these guys in the wild. Really awesome snake, incredibly docile, but also variable as your colors go from brown to white to black. Bands. See if I can get a close up of his head. Gorgeous snake. Alright, we're gonna keep moving. So, unfortunately, this is a dead rattlesnake, and unfortunately, this is the big reality of real cruising. As not everyone out here is herping, and some people like to go fast, and when it's for the snakes, it's too late. So, we're gonna keep going. Okay guys, this is a California toad, and surprisingly, we've actually seen a bunch of them just crossing the road. So, uh, yeah, it's actually surprising that uh, it's not around water or anything. So, uh, 
Alaska. You get a good look at it. We've got a huge rattlesnake right here. This is the biggest one I've seen in a while, so I'm gonna move this guy off the road very carefully with my hook. <sighs> Maybe you'll hear him rattle. <clears throat> Try not to hurt him. All right. There we go. So, just came across this nice gopher snake that Eric has in his hands right here. Yeah, this one's um, it's probably a juvenile. Um, as you can see right there, it bit me. Um, no biggie, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, this guy was uh, at the end of the road, so we're really excited that we found him. And um, like I said, this one, uh, Probably juvenile, but it's a very beautiful coloration pattern. And um, he was right in the middle of the road, so we're glad that we're gonna get him back to the other side so he doesn't become tonight's roadkill. Yep, so we're gonna let this guy go, continue on his night. Yeah. And uh, these gopher snakes out here in uh, the East Bay Hills look just like glossy snakes, which are another similar looking snake but yet much more rare here in, here in the area so definitely a very common find but doesn't make it any less exciting so we're gonna let this guy go eric you want to put him in the bush yep hopefully you guys can see and there he goes oh he's going up the bush that's something I've never seen before, actually. That is definitely something I've never seen before. Alright guys, it's going to be a wrap for the video. Thanks for watching. And tonight was pretty much a night of rattlesnakes. Uh, we, and we actually found more snakes than, uh, than what was on the cameras. We just couldn't get everything on the cameras. Just for safety reasons, you know. Uh, just really wasn't a safe place to pull over. So we actually did find... One more rattler, one more king, and a couple dead gophers, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, there's pretty much four rattlers right there. Happy to move some of them off the roads. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something. I appreciate, I appreciate all you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.